here. I'm here. Estoy aquí. I'm here to listen, to help, to support, and to empower. I'm here to prevent that senior citizen from being all alone. To let you know somebody cares. I'm here to answer the 211 crisis hotline 24 hours a day. I'm here to provide medical transportation for those in despair. I'm here to let you know your life is worth living. I'm here to help struggling families find solutions. I'm here to give the sexually abused a voice. of the Crisis Center is to bring help, hope, and healing into the lives of people who are facing serious life challenges. What? Are you okay? Are you upset? No, the bad man's here again. Sometimes it's children who have been terribly abused and, and brutalized by somebody that they trusted. I don't really want to talk about it. Her biological father, every time mom went to work, he would rape her. He would rape her. He would rape her. This happened for about two years, so from the time she was five to seven. What we ended up doing is a trauma narrative. She told her story in detail. I remember he came in. For the first time ever. I typed it and she talked. It was long night. It ended up being eight pages. After the eight pages were done, I gave her the options of what would you like to do with this now? This is your story. She wanted to put it in a sh shredder. She read it out loud. He asked me to whisper. The first defense it happened, the second time she was raped, the third time, fourth time. I didn't know what to do. After she read the page and she shredded it, and there was this like relief washed over her face at the end of it. Her story, she's okay, and she's, that's exactly what she said. She goes, I'm okay now, it's over. She's come miles and miles and miles, and beyond anything I could actually have imagined. It's lifted, the clouds have lifted, and that wouldn't have happened if we weren't here to help her out with that. I'm here because I see hope, it's about a community coming together you know, to uh, reach out to its, its most vulnerable citizens, to care for them in their hour of need, and to let them know that you know, they're not alone. The single mom called at the end of her rope. I can't help them. It's something bad every day. She was hurt, she was scared, she was angry. She had three children, three beautiful kids. Mommy, what's wrong, what's wrong? She wasn't making ends meet. It was just a tough time at work, a tough time at home. But I just feel lost. She was very low. And sincere in thinking that her kids may have been better off without her, better off without her, better off without her. I heard her say things like, my teenager's an A student, and my middle son loves this. And they're both very active in school and sports and clubs. And what I heard is, you're a great mom. And through all of that, you have an A student. You have active, happy, healthy kids. And she was like, wow. And that's what it takes sometimes, is for other people to hear all the good that you're missing. I heard some hope, I heard relief, and I believe I made a difference. I think she heard me like I heard her. Thank you so much. Thank you for being there. This is just a part of me, helping people. That's what it's always been about. I love you, Mom. I love you too, buddy. What we help do through our caring and through our compassion and through our competency is that we help people move from being a victim to being a victor, from, to be able to take tragedy and turn it into triumph. And we see that happen all the time. All I knew I was 
in pain. Everything was very foggy. I couldn't comprehend what had happened. I kept hearing the word rape, and then it seemed like time just seemed to, to stop. After being raped, my whole sense of self and my foundation was destroyed. I wasn't able to relate. I wasn't able to feel safe in my own skin. I didn't want to come to terms with it. I didn't want to be a rape victim. That's the last thing I wanted to be. And they took me through that process as easily as possible. They let me know that I wasn't alone, that everything I was feeling, as horrible as it was, was okay. Coming here, I was given an objective and saw that it, it wasn't my fault and where the healing took place and become accountable for my feelings and know that I didn't have to be a victim anymore, that there was a whole nother world of being a survivor and then past that, being a thriver. <laughs> That's what the crisis center gave me, it gave me my life back. Without that, I would still be in that sense of in, in pain, just living every day, suffering, and not knowing anything different, not knowing freedom. Crisis Center gave me freedom, gave me a sense of hope. Chances are that, that in your lifetime, either you or somebody who's very close to you will need us. Because we all reach those places where you know, we've exhausted our resources, where we're at the end of our rope, and where we just have nobody else to turn to. And, and that's where the crisis center comes into play. Please give to the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay. Por favor done al Centro de Crisis de Tampa Bay. The Crisis Center was here for me when I had nowhere else to turn. Because of the Crisis Center, I am a survivor.